it is a beautiful day today and I'm out here in the garden I have taken my seedlings out to start acclimating the second batch the first ones the cabbage and all of that also are going to be planted they have been acclimating for quite a while actually I wanted to plant them last week but the weather was still really cold and I decided to hold off but they're getting really really big <laughs> look at this cabbage over here it's definitely time for them to be out but to do that I need to amend my raised beds first so today I'm going to be working on those raised beds behind me so I can go ahead and plant some of the seedlings in there I still do get some shade in there as you can see in the morning so I am going to plant some of these seedlings on my green stalk as well it just feels so good so happy that the weather is just starting to warm up here uh, the forecast looks good for the next 10 days so I'm very excited it definitely feels like spring now let's go take a look at these raised beds this is how the raised bed looks like I have already added metal hoops and I put it a landscape fabric in here and the reason why I did this is because I have some stray cats and feral cats to visit here come to my backyard i actually don't mind that they come here because since we're in the city and the city has a rat problem it's okay with me that they come and visit because if they're here it means there's no rats but i do not want them pooping and peeing in the raised bed because they can transmit some disease so i just covered it and they, that way they can't dig and they can't use it as a litter box to amend this bed i'm going to remove this cover so let's do that now So this is how it looks like now it actually looks pretty full so you can see there's a lot of soil in here my neighbor she used to garden in those buckets over here that she actually left for me she used this she used all of this to grow her tomatoes so at the end of the season she emptied those and threw all the soil that was in there in here so there are also some other stuff growing like some onions or some green onions and stuff that i think she got it from a pot in there i put this right this cardboard here built for I put it the the frost fabric because I had it at home and I'm gonna keep it I think because she said that there's some weeds that grew here some morning glories and some other flowers that she had a hard time keeping up so I'm just gonna keep this in here and add the compost on top of it and once I'm ready to plant things this since this cardboard has been here it's pretty soft by now and I would just just cut my shovel something that I'm working with and I'm just gonna puncture a hole right below the planting place and that should be all right so I'm keeping that in there and now I'm just going to amend or top this top dress this with about quarter inch of compost I have all of this compost here the trash bags are actually compost and this one is just some old potting soil and I also have some leaves in here that I plan to use as mulch this is from last fall I got from a park and I wanted to make sure I use it for the garden too so I don't have to spend money buying wood chips for mulch and those are for the Queens Botanical Garden and if you're curious about that I did a little vlog when I grabbed this compost from the Botanical Garden they gave us a little tour of their composting facility I was able to film a little bit of the tour and what they said so it's pretty cool so make sure to check that out if you're interested and I'm gonna go ahead and use some of those to top my beds now I'm gonna make sure that I put my gloves on for this but it's actually quite simple ideally you should put the compost there about two weeks before planting i didn't do that because it's kind of icy in here i got a little busy this past couple weeks so i'm putting some compost now and i might actually plant some things today which I, it's okay compost has been sitting here for a while and i'm just gonna take the risk myself i think it'll be fine but just so you know if it's recommended that you do it a little bit earlier so the compost has some little chance of sort of breaking down a little bit and incorporating more into the soil now I do not work this in the soil like I don't dig or anything I let it just slightly top dress and I will just slightly kind of smooth the surface out I don't want to really disturb all the micro and microorganisms that are living here and working in the soil so I'm just gonna top dress it put a little bit on top do that through the whole bed and then after I put the compost is good to give it really good watering and especially because I am planting some stuff today but I'm really excited to do this. It's been waiting for a long time. It's my birthday week and this is the best gift I could have. It's just to start the garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag. Let's see, I wanna, I'm curious. I wanna see how many bags this raised bed is gonna take to be able to get all filled up. Oh, that looks so good. Just 
still a little moist. I'm gonna just grab this back here if this is enough. So just a little layer and I'm going to work with my hands just over everything. It looks very, very nice. When I was at the botanical garden, they told me only a quarter inch of compost is good. I wanted to, to put a lot more because last year I just wanted my vegetables to do really good, but she said only a quarter inch is good. And then you can just put some mulch on top of it after. So this part looks very nice already. Great. Reserve that bit of part there after. Only one bag, that's great. It's, I think this is gonna be good. Check this out, it looks so good. This is a very thin layer. It's pretty full. I haven't done this side yet. I'll do it in a minute. I'll put the rest of this bag and probably maybe half of another one. But this looks really good so far. That was it super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and transplant this seedlings in there later. And I want to show one more thing too. Do you see all of those pots in here? I actually did the same process with them. I probably put about an inch of compost in there just because I know there's not as many nutrients on those pots. So I put it a good inch layer. But on the raised beds, they have a lot of soil. Just a quarter inch should be okay as looks in here. I actually need to water them before I put They Look at this. I grabbed it and felt really light and the soil is a little dry. So I'm just going to water the seedlings a little bit. Then before I transplant in here in the water again, just want to make sure they have the best chance to adapt to water transplanting. And I can't wait to get this corner all organized. I do want to get some planting on those spots to get rid of these bags without this compost. I have one with potting soil, one over here that I need to amend. This is potting soil from last year, and I'm going to I'm going to amend it with just some compost and some leaves for aeration. And that would be it but i'm gonna be using that to fill some of those buckets i got these guys here at home depot this weekend because i try not to use miracle grow but the only one they had there so far that was organic and i need some to start repotting my peppers i actually need to go grab some labels for the, the seedlings too i'm going to give them a little water and then i'll be back to plant them all right just grab my little sticks here that i'm going to use as a label so i can plant some of this brassicas so usually it's recommended that you plant early morning or late afternoon you should never do it and when the sun is really hot outside i'm gonna try to be better at labeling things this year because last year i forgot a lot of things what i planted i thought i would remember and i never did so making an effort to actually label almost everything that i put in the ground so let's see if i can keep it up but for now i'm gonna put some purple broccoli this purple broccoli said in the package that needed to be overwintered in order to produce florets. I did plant earlier and I put that out some days when it was really cold just to get a little bit of those freezing temperatures and it did fine, it didn't suffer anything. But I don't know if it's going to produce a floret or not, but I want to do an experiment, so I'm planting it anyway. I'm gonna put one. Broccoli gets really big. Last year I planted my brassicas very close together. I'm planning to give them some good space this year so let me show you here this is the space that i have to work with i'm going to and then i have these hoops that are going to protect them from frost if the frost does come still and from insects on their back so i'm gonna tag this right here and i'm going to put this broccoli here if you see that there's, there's a lot of space in here i am not planting any root crop veggies in here because i don't know the soil there's the cats that come in here just don't want anything to get contaminated as i said but you could if you wanted to plant some radishes in here that are going to mature really fast what i think i'm going to do i might plant some flowers in here maybe some pansies or something that are not too big and that they like the cool weather season two but for now i'm just doing the broccoli so let's get that going so what i like to do when i'm planting I'm gonna grab a little, take some of this guy. 
just gonna make a little hole here because these guys do have a little root so just make a little hole so the buckle can leave there and this is actually a really good tool it's got a hori hori knife that also will be very easy to puncture some holes in that cardboard that's below there but I'll just do the same thing I'm doing here and I'm gonna get a broccoli out to transplant I always try to tap the bottom of the tray and grab it oh it's still so nice there's hardly any roots around it's looking really healthy so it's not even close to be root bound which is great so I'm going to just place right here in the hole press it firmly and then with this knife just gonna kind of be careful if you use a knife like this I gotta be careful too just gonna kind of press it around I'm gonna remove the bottom leaf for this guy here and that's it this is my first this is my first planted seedling of the season so exciting I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few more around here I am working on my garden layout plan I did it a little late this year but I was taking a permaculture class that I never really updated you guys on how it's going I'll do that soon and I was able to draw some things to scale and I'm very excited to decide where things gonna go but I'm mostly planning that for the summer because it's where the heavy of this the bulk of this garden will be I will plant things around this but I am not going to use a lot of this space for the spring planting they're mostly gonna be in the green stalks and in the plot because I need this space for my tomatoes so if you're curious about that just make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see the upcoming videos that I'll be posting that's it for today I'm gonna end here while I plant the rest of this seedlings let me know in the comment section down below if you already are starting to amend some of your garden beds I know if you're in a very cold region there's still some snow on the ground but luckily because we have this microclimate here in New York City we have this island heat effect it's a little bit warmer for us even though we're up north I'm happy that I'm able to plant as soon as March for the cool weather crops at least not warm weather so this will leave here. I'm gonna cover them with some frost, frost fabric later. And if you're curious to see the video where I sold these seedlings and I show all the varieties that I sold on that day, I'm going to link right over here on the side so you can watch that next. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video too. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.